Okay, with this we've come to the end of the course. Let's quickly recap what we learned in this course. We started out talking about Angular 1 services. We looked at why we even need services and how to use them. We looked at multiple types of services. We looked at constants, value, factory, and service. Two of the more common services that you're going to be using in your AngularJS programming would be the factory and the service. Now, we also looked at how to choose between the two. When would you want to use a factory versus a service service? Then we moved on to the $HTTP service, which is an out-of-the-box service that comes with Angular 1. It lets you make REST API calls, and it returns what's called promises. We then learned what promises are and how we can use them to make asynchronous programming work in JavaScript. And in this particular case, Angular. We looked at how $HTTP returns a promise, which can have a then method, where you pass in a function and accept the value that the service returns. And then finally, we put all those things to practice by building our contact app, which lets us manage a bunch of contacts. And it also interacted with the server by getting the data from a REST API endpoint and also persisting data to that REST API endpoint. So hopefully this gives you a fair idea of how to use services in Angular and how you can create services as well as use the out-of-the-box services. And as I say at the end of almost all of my courses, this is not the end. There's still a lot to learn and explore. Definitely check out the AngularJS documentation about services. There are a lot of nuances to these things and you know, writing code and trying out all these things is definitely gonna help in your understanding. So good luck in your learning journey and thanks for watching this course, Angular One Services In Depth.